हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द टॉप टेन मोंगो डीबी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू मोंगो डी बी देन डोंट मिस दैम एंड इफ़ यू आर एक्सपीरियंसड देन रिवाइज दैम एट लीस्ट वन टाइम बिकॉज समाइम वी नो द रॉन्ग आंसर्स इवन द हाफ इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज़ डेंजरस हे माई नेम इज़ हैप्पी एंड आई हेल्प कैंडिडेट्स इन क्रैकिंग इंटरव्यूज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड येस फॉर ए रियल इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस First hear the question pause the video then think about your own answer then play my answer and compare it with yours This is MongoDB I hope you remember this request flow diagram where first user via the browser send the request to the UI server then UI server will send the request to the API server and api server will send the request to the database for the data now this database can be in mysql ms sql oracle extra right but now for our case it will be a mongo db database and this is our focus now now mongo db will send the data back to the node api and then to the client and finally to the user browser right that we already know so first thing to remember is mongodb is a database but 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 it is not a relational database like sql server or oracle mysql mongodb is a no sql database which is different from relational database now how it is different what is no sql that i will explain in upcoming questions okay for now Here is the simplest definition of MongoDB. MongoDB is a popular open source NoSQL database management system. What is NoSQL? Now let's make our base and foundation knowledge very clean and clear. Uh, but before NoSQL, I hope you have some idea of uh, relational databases also. okay because uh, then no sql will be will be very very easy for you to understand all right so we have our databases to store the data right and currently we have two categories of uh, uh, types of database rdbms which we call the relational database and second category is no sql database which stands for uh, not only sql not only okay uh listen carefully here it means uh, sql can handle only structured data but no sql not only sql can handle structured data and semi structured and unstructured data also that's why it is not only sql it is more than sql okay got it okay so sql stands for structured Qu query language which means sql relational cable only handle structured data okay now what is a structured non structured and semi structured data that i will uh, explain in upcoming question right now here are the examples of the relational sql database mysql oracle sql server and this mongo db and redis are the examples of the no sql databases and uh, finally here is the definition of uh, no sql no sql which stands for not only sql databases are designed to handle structured semi structured and unstructured data writing it down here so that your revision will be very easy and quick from the book all right friends before moving to the next question if you have not yet accepted the never give up challenge then accept it promise yourself you will never give up until you crack the interview start and accept this challenge by writing never give up in the comments right now and feel the confidence what is the difference between no sql and rdbms very important question and in this question i will clear all your doubts about no sql we already know that in rdbms or relational database we, we have tables like this and here every record of a single user is inserted as a single row in this table user right similarly in no sql every record inserted as a single document like arrow 
you can also say uh, no doc no sql document is equivalent to table row and the collection of all these documents is called collection similar to a table in rdbms got it now there are three differences between them first is rdbms are designed to handle structured data biggest difference structured structured data means you have to create the tables and schema in advance in relational database like you have to create the columns names in advance and then only you can insert the data inside the table so that's why sql database schema is predefined and structured okay whereas no sql database are designed to handle structured semi structured and unstructured data meaning you do not have to predefine the column names and you can just insert the data and the document will be generated okay you can have any column name any data type so it's like a unstructured okay semi structured data also this no sql uh, database will accept okay so this is what an example and for example if you see in this relational database you have this column passion so if you do not have this column then you cannot insert any value uh, passion for it right uh, but if you do in the case of uh, no sql you can still insert passion column here in the third document even though it is not uh, earlier there that doesn't matter actually any field you can add that is not a problem so that is why it is semi structured and structured data it can accept okay and uh, that is the biggest and the main difference the second difference is rdm bms uses the relational model where data is always stored in the tables with rows and columns there is no other option other than tables right whereas no sql database uses a variety of flexible data models such as document oriented column oriented graph based etc and the above one is the example of uh, document one but uh, and it is the most popular one but yes there are other formats also okay so sorry these were the these are the two differences i initially i told three differences but i think these two differences are enough between no sql and rdbms and that is the answer to this question when to use rdbms db and when to use no sql db for your application and this is like a pr practical question uh, you already know i think 70% of the answer let's make it 100% so rdbms like this is suitable for application that require complex transactions and uh, data integrity acid properties uh, if you have heard about it uh, complex transactions means the transaction like in banking finance e-commerce applications because uh, see their transactions are very very important uh, rdbms database are excellent for handling structured data they do not accept any invalid data at any cost okay you cannot enter any string or integer data type inside a column uh, if the data type is already defined because and this is a very good thing for critical finance and banking related application because uh, there one bad transaction and your money will be gone right so whereas no sql databases are designed to handle large and large volumes of data with high speed read and write operations okay so therefore it is uh, for example chat applications okay large volumes of data social media application gaming application data is exchanging at very high speed in these kind of application and uh, the data is millions of data is there right and transactions here are not so important data integrity speeding and volume of messages are very high and important uh, so for that kind of application we will use no sql okay all right this is the answer to this question and here i have written the same thing which i already explained because maybe like me you also have the habit of forgetting things just before the interviews 
So this written statements can help you in the last minute revision. What are documents and collections in NoSQL? You already know the answer. So here I'm just writing their simplest and easy to remember definition. Uh, here is a simple structure of a user collection and its documents. The definition of document is a document is a semi structured data structure which can be an XML JSON format that stores information in a NoSQL database. Okay, so it is very similar to a row in a table in an RDBMS. Okay. And here is the definition of collection. A collection is a group of documents that are stored together in a NoSQL database. Okay, it is similar to a table in a RDBMS, right? Hi friends, just a small notification. This video is part of my full course, top 200 node interview questions, which includes Express, REST and MongoDB questions also. All questions PDF book link is present below in the description. So like these candidates, if you don't want to miss anything for your interviews, then try it. Otherwise, no problem. Let's continue. What are crude operations in MongoDB? Crude is a very general term and is used in almost all the databases and technologies. Uh, here are our four letters of crude. C stands for creating meaning creating and inserting new documents or records in a mongodb collections okay r stands for read meaning reading or retrieving the data getting the data from the mongodb collection then u stands for update meaning how to update or modify existing documents existing documents inside the mongodb collection and D stands for delete, meaning how to delete or remove documents from the MongoDB collection. Okay, so quickly I will show in four upcoming questions how to do each and every operation from the Node.js application in the to perform these operations in the MongoDB database. Okay, and before that here I uh, is written what I already explained about these crude operations very very simple things right how to connect mongodb server from node.js application before performing crude operations from node.js to mongodb we must set up the connection between these two okay so for that we have seven steps uh, so this i will tell you only once this uh, connection and later when i will doing the crude operation then i will not uh, you know doing this set connection again and again okay we will use the this file only uh, which i the code only which i am showing here okay so okay so first install mongodb in your node.js application that is the first step very much basic and here is the command npm install mongodb that will install the mongodb second create a separate file for mongodb connection like this this is the mongo.js file it is do it this file will only do connection okay and there mongodb import mongodb package which you just installed and uh, then you will create a class that is assigned to this mongo client variable this uh, you have package assigned to this mongo client now if you remember like this we have a url of the mongodb server right with the database my database name also i have written here you can keep it separate also depends on you so this so as a now after that as a third step we will create the client object of this mongo client class by passing this url as the argument okay great now we have the mongodb client server instance ready which is present at this url now we will use this client to do any action or operation on the mongodb database first we will connect to the database for that you can create one function and in this connect to mongodb function and inside this function you will call the connect function of this client object to connect to the mongodb server and database so this means now our server is connected this is the most important thing 
then we call the db function of the client object to get the db instance of database basically we will get the db instance and if with this db after that only we this uh, return what this instance will return that with that object we will perform the crude operations i will show you okay so and uh, listen carefully here whenever from any other file in your this application you have to perform any operation on this database then from that file we will call this reusable function to connect this is we because we are exporting it here right at you down you can see we are exporting this function and this db instance which is written from here as i said so that will uh, be used to do the operations okay and yes i have created the single mongo.js file to connect to the database and we will use it throughout the application all the time whenever we need to connect and perform any operation on the database i'm not going to create it again and again in upcoming question okay great finally the one line answer to this question is mongodb can be connected from node by calling the connect method of the mongo client class okay the answer is very short but you should know the implementation uh, okay but then from there only the confidence will come but yes the short answer is this only and that's the answer to this question how what are query operators in mongodb for example in mathematics we have plus minus equal to as the operators right same case here here is the example this is a condition where we are checking age is less than or equal to 30 and here age is the field 30 is the value and this lte less than equal to is the query operator okay the proper definition is query operator are special keywords or symbols used to perform operations like comparison logical operations in queries okay that's the answer compare what is projection in mongodb how to implement it first i will show you a simple sql statement like this and you know here which column to include and which column not to include in the result is called projection meaning projecting on a specific field only is projection okay simplest definition is also written here projection is a way of specifying which fields should be returned in the query results now we can implement projection by using the project method in the mongodb let's quickly see the code first we are connecting to the database getting the collection from user collection from the database and there yes there must be some data inside this users collections okay this is a prerequisite now if you want to include all the fields then there is no need to use the project method here okay and this find method will by default return all the fields of the document every document okay and this will be the output here we are using this for await for iterating and logging the result okay which we are getting from the database but you can use any other way also uh, right now our focus is just on projection only okay now in the second scenario suppose we want only the name field now listen carefully then we will put the value one for field name uh, name for the field name and in the output we will received id and name only age will not be there and id will always always be there by default okay now the second scenario is if you do not want suppose id by default then like this put value zero in front of the id to ex uh, and uh, exclude it that way you can exclude it as a result id will not be there in the result great that is the answer and these are the three different scenarios of using projection you can also try this code if you have any confusion but when i am teaching then there is no chance of confusion actually what are indexes in mongodb how does indexing make data retrieval faster very important question 
first of all we know the uh, if you have the idea of uh, indexes in sql then the purpose is also very much same here for example suppose you have a node application okay and you have a collection of user documents in a mongodb database something like this okay now suppose your node application is frequently accessing the data by filtering based on the name field for example where name equal to anurag where name equal to happy so this kind of frequently data they are accessing the node application now in small databases this filtering is not a problem but in huge databases where there are millions of record this filtering based on the name field will scan and search all the documents in the user's collection which will be then very very time taking right agree until now we haven't created index and that is the before creating okay so basically data is directly retrieved after the filtering now to make the data retrieval faster we will first create an index on the name field okay so as a result after creating index mongodb will create a separate index data structure for the name field like this okay uh, listen carefully uh, we also call this uh, as data structure and index tree also okay this data structure is index tree here indexed fields will be stored here separately the name field with their ids in the ascending order okay now remember this index tree will be stored physically like a document inside the database only oh, so after creating the index now when the node application will search for the data then first the query will hit this index because the condition or filter name uh, there is name field you are searching by name field right which is indexed so this uh, index tree will be searched first and as you can see this data is sorted in ascending order now listen carefully because it is in ascending order therefore the search or the scan of the data based on the name filter will be very very fast this time okay because it is easy to scan uh, order data in but above it was very time taking and therefore it will be immediately locate this name happy and get the data from the ascending data okay so i think yes that's the logic and uh, one more thing uh, that's the logic behind how the index retrieve the data faster okay they are stored separately and then in ascending order from which data can be easily accessed okay and uh, one more thing whenever you update or inserting the data in the above collection so the mongodb uh, whenever any update will happen the mongodb will automatically update this index tree so that indexing remains accurate okay so that will automatically be happen so great that is the idea of indexing i hope you got it and here is the simplest definition indexes are the data structures which i have shown you below which improve the speed of the data retrieval operations on the collections and uh, also remember by default index are automatically created on the id field that's why you do not have to create on index on the id field uh, but for other fields like name and others you have to create the index uh, that how to create that i will show you in a, a upcoming question but now you got the idea and that's the answer in the question and yes in the next slide i have shared few points about uh, index update which i already explained but yes it can help you in the quick revision just before the interviews from the book later how what is mongoose what are the advantages of using it let's quickly explore we already know that we can directly connect and access the mongodb database from the node api right now instead of performing the operations directly 
we can use the library mongoose to perform actions in mongodb from node.js okay now you will ask when we can directly do the operations then why do we need this mediator the reason is because mongoose provide many advantages over accessing the mongodb database directly okay and the first advantage is data validation yes like sql by using mongoose library we can act check and validate the data that is going or inserting into our database okay this is very very important to restrict the bad and invalid data otherwise inconsistent invalid data problems can arise you in your database right the second advantage is middleware support meaning we can automate and perform some operations in the node application just before and after executing the database of operation okay so if you know triggers in sql then you can relate it but don't worry i will cover a separate question on this advantage for better understanding okay and the third advantage is by using mongoose you can define the relationship between the collections okay like we have the foreign key relations in sql okay uh, i will cover also this in detail in separate question all right finally here i will provide two definition of mongoose first mongoose is an object data modeling odm library for mongodb and node.js okay i will explain uh, this data model object data model in upcoming question second definition is mongoose provide a schema based solution to model application data great both uh, are valid definition these are both are written here so that later your revision will be very quick and fast from the book and now in the upcoming questions i will show you the implementation and proof of all these advantages and all these definition i will also make it more clear like what is a schema what is data model how validation is done what is middleware support everything i, I will cover question wise okay what is the role of a schema in mongoose how do i define a schema this i think is the most important part of mongoose and that is a schema in short a schema is like defi defining the structure of the collection uh, like we define the structure of a table in sql yeah similar to that uh, let me first quickly show you how to define the mongoose schema in the code for that first required is the uh, mongoose library and then like this define the schema by using this mongoose.schema function now listen carefully in this function as the argument you have to pass the fields that you want in your user collection document okay name email age anything and inside those fields you have to define the properties or the validations on those fields and if you remember those constraints in sql uh, these properties similar to them only for example here name field is of type string and then it is always required and the minimum accepted le length of uh, the characters in this field is 3 the purpose of this properties is if you will use this schema user schema to create some user document in a user collection then you cannot enter a name with less than three characters that is the meaning of this minimum length property here okay that will not be accepted less than three characters great the schema is ready or you can say the structure is ready in the form of this user schema object now wherever you will use this user schema or schema or object this structure and validation will be applied there now to use this schema first you have to create one model user from this schema by using this mongoose.model function like this 
Remember that this user model is like a function only and it represents the collection in the MongoDB database. Okay, so it's equivalent to a collection this. So now like you will perform all your collection operations which you perform with the collection in MongoDB. Now you will perform those operations with this user model. Okay, uh, uh, because now we will be using the MongoIs not the mongodb directly okay and for that first you have to export this user like this so that uh, user model like this so that you can use this model in other files for creating user or for anything great in the upcoming question now i will show you how to create the user document from this user model and uh, then how to insert the document in the database also but uh, yes, for now, you know these things about a schema. First, a schema in MongoIs defines the structure, validation rules, and behavior of MongoDB documents, which ensures data consistency and integrity. Uh, meaning, schema validation will ensure that invalid data will not be entered in the MongoDB database okay and as you remember this is the biggest advantage of using mongoose right second point is schema is defined by using the schema function great that is the answer of actually the second part of this question and everything is written here for later revision okay Congratulations for completing all the questions. As I always said, most students study to just learn. But you don't have to just learn. You also have to crack the interview. And facing interviews need courage. For that courage and spirit, all the best from my side. And yes, if you have not yet accepted the never give up challenge until you crack the interview, then accept the challenge now by writing never give up in the comment section and yes don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you